Okay, hi everybody. We're going to look at chemical calculations, which is chapter C4. And we're just going to look at the very first part of this chapter, where we're calculating relative masses. So think about what relative means. It means comparing one thing to another. And if we take some examples of atoms, hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, magnesium, each of these elements has a number. And a mass number is the big one at the top. Remember, they also have a small number, which is their number of protons and the position on the periodic table. So this number here at the top, the big one, hydrogen has a mass of 1, carbon of 12, oxygen of 16, magnesium of 24, gives us a measure of how heavy these atoms are compared to each other. It means, for example, that carbon is 12 times heavier than hydrogen. One atom of carbon would equal 12 atoms of hydrogen in mass. In the same way, one atom of magnesium is the same mass as two atoms of carbon. 2 times 12 makes 24. In the exam, when you see these masses, they're going to be written like this. Relative atomic mass of carbon is 12 of hydrogen is 1, of oxygen is 16, and so on. We can take these individual masses and use them to work out the relative molecular mass of a compound. Let's take a simple compound that you know about, CH4, methane. The question would say, what is the relative molecular mass of methane? Calculate. In this formula, there is one carbon and it weighs 12. There are four hydrogens and they weigh one each. Four lots of one. And then we've just got to add these numbers together to calculate the total mass. The relative formula mass of methane is 16. There is never any unit. Now, if I write another formula on here, let's say C6H12O6, which is the formula for glucose, a sugar, and we know that carbon atoms weigh 12, and hydrogen atoms weigh 1, and oxygen weighs 16. Can you work out the relative molecular mass of this molecule here, glucose? Have a go. Okay, if you haven't quite done it yet, press pause, because I'm going to go through the answer now. In this molecule, there are six carbons that weigh 12 each. There are 12 hydrogens that weigh one each. And there are six oxygens, which weigh 16 each. We could put those numbers into our calculator. Brackets first, 72, 12, 96. And we can add those together. The 
relative formula mass of C6H12O6 glucose is 180. Okay, let's go and have a look at some examples uh, from exam questions, the sort that you might get in your mock. Here we've got a typical foundation tier calculation question. It says a company uses chlorine to produce titanium chloride from titanium dioxide. What is the relative formula mass of titanium dioxide? Now it doesn't matter that you've never heard of titanium dioxide perhaps. We just need to apply our method. So we've got the formula titanium one titanium dioxide, two oxygens. We've been given the information we need, the relative mass, and we're going to add them together. 48 for the titanium, two lots of 16 for the oxygen. Add these numbers and they add up to 80. In the exam, we'd have done that and then ticking the box gets us the mark. Okay, this time we've got a little bit of a graph and there's some points. The first question simply says draw a line at best fit on the graph and in the exam you would reach for your ruler here because you can say that the trend is straight. It's a linear relationship between the mass of magnesium and the mass of magnesium oxide. We need to get our ruler out and put it on the board and draw the line. I'm just going to draw it freehand. So, with the ruler, We want a straight line that goes through all the points and it looks like it's going to go down through the origin as well. Line of best fit in this case is straight. Okay, next. The next part of the question requires us to use our uh, line of best fit. Just quickly put it back in again. Here's our line, as straight as you can with a ruler, and that says determine, in other words, find out. Use the graph to find the mass of magnesium oxide produced by 8.4 grams of magnesium carbonate. So I'm looking for this value on the x-axis, because there's the magnesium carbonate, and I want to go to 8.4. Look at the scale, 8, that must be 9, 10, 8.2468. Every little square is 0 0.2. So I'm going 8.4, which is here, yeah? In the exam, I can show that I know what I'm doing by putting some dotted lines down here. I know that that's 8.4. I've gone up to my line of best fit. I'm coming across here, I'm reading off this number, 4. 8.4 grams goes to 4 grams, my mass is 4 grams. Next part, calculate. I need to do some maths, I can use a calculator. Calculate the mass of magnesium oxide produced. There it is when 168 grams of magnesium carbonate is heated. Look at this bit, use your answer. I need to use my number four to get this answer here. So we know, looking at this, that 8.4 grams 
would make four grams of magnesium oxide. 8.4 would make four. And this question is saying, what if you had 168 grams, how much would I get? Your maths teacher would say, we need to know what scale factor I need to increase my numbers by. If I take 168 and I divide it by 8.4, I get an answer of 20. This number, 168, is 20 times bigger than that number. So the number that I want to get here is going to be 20 times bigger here. That is times 20. So this one needs to be times 20. 4 times 20 is 80. The answer is 80 grams.